Okay. So I know Souls content is what dominates my channel for the most part. But uh, the game I play most <clears throat> is oddly enough a little something called Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I've made one of these tier lists in the past. It's actually my most successful video on the channel. But I feel like it's a little outdated now. Some opinions have changed. So let's see what's changed for real. Because I think I think considerable amounts. Let's see. Hopefully this audio is coming out okay. I'm having to do this in a bit of an unorthodox way. Um so a pool, yeah, still the same. Uh Burger, I can't remember where I placed you before, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him in B right now. Uh well I'll put him in A because uh I've learned that with Blue Hurricane, it's extremely hard to break unless you recognize it immediately. And you can just get a free ultimate off of it. And if you're up close, you're going to get caught. Uh, Bardock. I had him in S before. Uh, Bardock is going up into Z. Uh, Bojack. I can't remember where I had you before, but I'm going to leave you in A. Because I don't quite think you're good enough to cut it in S rank. Beerus, I still think you're not broken, so I'm going to leave you in S. Broly, I got a comment asking why I put this guy in S. In my opinion, has it changed? He's still in S. He's still great. Uh, this, and I don't like that guy as much, though. Uh, Fat Boo, probably in S rank. Uh, still really good. Still got good super. Still got good combos. Still got Cookie Beam. Still good. Uh, Super Boo, probably A rank. I don't think that opinion hasn't changed. I think he's still a little too wonky to cut it up here with these, especially not in S rank. Uh, Kid Boo, I still think he's in S rank. He's probably the best of the Boos. And then this one's really good too. One of the few, like, time breaker variations that's, like, just as good as the main one. Uh, top tier. Z rank for sure for Boo Han. Uh, Small Boo. Uh, Small Boo's a B rank character. I think I had him down here with these, but Small Boo is actually like pretty solid. Compared to like a Pokemon. I mean. Uh, Kaba. Uh, I think Kaba's a B rank character. I gotta be honest, though. Yeah, if we're counting the Super Saiyan transformation separate because of a Super Soul, he's an A, but I think by himself, Cap is a B rank character. First form cell, I think I had him in B before. My opinions have changed, I'm gonna put him in A. He's a little wonky to use, but I think he's still really good. Uh, perfect cell. Yeah, probably. I'm probably gonna leave him right there on that. Uh, probably in A rank too. I don't think he's quite good enough to be in S rank. I think you're in B rank because you have that, he has that glitch where he can't break stamina on a reverse burst dash. Uh, you have Tri-Beam so you can go into B rank. Shampa, probably A rank. I think I had him in A, I mean probably S rank. I think I had him in A before. Uh, he hits hard enough and he's got consecutive energy blast so he's in S rank. Uh, you're the best character in the game. Uh, I'll probably leave him right there. To explain my position on Final Form Cooler, he is the most dominant force in the game, right? There's just nothing in the game more dominant than him. Like, Hit, I would say, is in some ways better and easier to use, but I would say Cooler is just more dominant, right? Uh... gonna say A rank for you. I uh, just stats aren't as good as these. Medical is really good. The uh, time breaker version is still really good. And I have a few characters like pulled up on the side here that are not in this list and I'll read off where I think those fall. Uh, probably towards the end of the list. Uh, so Deborah. I'm 
gonna put Tabura in A rank because I don't think he's he doesn't have enough ways to play him to be any higher than that. Like Evil Blast is his only really good thing. Uh, Dodoria probably be rank. He has critical upper. Demi Gra, he's a raid boss, but I've played a little bit of uh, PvP against the friend offline with him. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna put him in probably B rank, just from what I've played. Granted, his combos are obviously incomplete, but I'm I'm definitely gonna just leave him in B rank. Uh, Final form Frieza S rank. Really solid supers. I can't knock this guy. Full power freeze of B rank. Not just not as good as this one. His ultimates in particular really hold him back because he's stuck with double death slicer. Uh, F Frost is still absolutely insane. Frost is still wild, dude. Frost is still my main too. Uh, so maybe I have a bias, but I'm just saying. And I am going to be putting CAC uh, races in this tier list. I'll just say where they are. Um, my opinion on first form Frieza has massively changed. I think I had him like B or C before. This man's jumping up into S rank. This man's wild, dude. I, my, the custom first form Frieza is wild. Few. Now I always joke with a friend saying Few is the worst character in the game because they nerfed Confusion Blade. They nerfed it and they buffed it. Uh, I joke with him a lot, but overall I still say Few is one of the best characters in the game. Android 13, I got a comment about this guy saying that if you play him right, he can be better than Hit. And to this I say, he can never be better than Hit, but he can be cheaper than Hit. And he can in an SS Deadly Bomber or Broken. And if you include playing like that, yes, he can be in Z rank. If you don't, I'm going to leave him in C. If you play with him in a super cheap way, he can of course be one of the best characters in the game. But if you don't, he's going to be in C. 16, uh... He has Rocket Tackle. He's got Rocket Tackle and I-Beam. Those are good. Those are really good supers. Uh, I believe him be right. He's really solid. Or he's fun, rather. Not really solid. Uh... 17... The first variation of 17, I would say, is an S rank character. Uh, the second variation is probably a, an A or B rank character, but the first one's really solid. Android 18, probably S rank, just because Deadly Dance and how hard she hits. Uh, Rose, I find myself liking Rose less and less, dude. I'm actually going to leave him in A rank. I just find myself liking him less and less. Um. Emperor's Death Beam, yeah. I mean, what do I need to say? Uh, Emperor's Death Beam, go up there. Oh, come now, there we go. This is Super Gogeta. Uh, I still think he's top tier. Still just a very dominant character. Blue Ku, still top tier. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I think. I'm willing to put him in S now. He's caught a couple buffs recently with uh, being able to warp with Big Bang Kamehameha and a few other things. They changed the hit reaction in one of his combos, so he actually has a mid combo stamina right now. I'm going to leave him in uh, S tier now. He's really solid. Future Gohan, S rank. Really solid. Metal Gohan, uh, S rank. Really solid. Great Saiyan man, literally just nerfed Gohan. Teen Gohan, I still don't like him. I'm gonna leave him right there. Kid Gohan, I still really do like. I'm gonna put him in A rank. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course. Uh, Z rank character. Goku Black, still a C rank character. He's got Goku's combos, but that's all he's got. He's literally just Goku without the privilege. Uh, GT Goku. When I rewatched my last video, I realized that I didn't even say why I put him in S. Uh, I just think he's got good enough supers, good enough combos, and stuff to make it up here with these. But as time has gone on, I can say 
His reach does hurt him, and I'm going to hold him back into A tier. Uh, UI Goku, really good, but really dangerous, you know, for both parties involved. Um, Captain Ginyu, now I think Ginyu Goku is arguably the best character in the game. <laughs> so, but I think normal Ginyu is still solid, so I'm going to leave him in S rank. Uh, but Ginyu Goku would be Z rank for sure. God Goku. Alright, why did I say why did I say that in such a white trash voice? God Goku. Uh, God Goku is definitely Z for sure. Uh, Vanilla Goku still Z. Who's messaging me? Um. Okay. Gordo. You know, you can loop grabs with him, it's fun. Uh, other than that, he's B-Rank. Goten, I still don't like Goten. He's probably a C-Rank character. <clears throat> uh, Gotenks, I do still really, still really love uh, using Gotenks. I'm going to put him in A-Rank. He gets a lot more hate than he deserves in this universe. I think he's definitely not great, but he's not bad. Uh, Vegeta's really solid. Okay. Hit. Uh, obviously. I think he's the second best character in the game. Uh, Jocko, Jocko's got Elite Beam, so like, he's good, but his combos are good too. I'm actually going to put him in B tier. Jocko's not bad. Uh, Jace. B tier, probably. Uh, Janemba. Janemba's okay. He's got a couple really wonky things. Like, he has a very slow guard animation. So, getting guards is sometimes annoying. He has a very slow snap vanish, so you can get punished really easy. I'd put him towards the top of uh, A rank, but... I definitely don't think he's... Like, I don't feel comfortable comparing him to, like, Frost or Beerus or Kid Buu. Everybody in this tier, I say, is, com is comparable to each other. Everybody in this tier is comparable to each other. Here is comparable to each other, and so on and so on. Uh, is a bull really gonna be left in D rank by himself? Uh, you're not good though. You go down here. Uh, Jiren, Jiren's really solid. I can't wait for the full power version. I'm really excited to see how full power Jiren plays. Uh, Cause I, I really like using the main one. Kefla, I got a comment saying how good Kefla was. And I maintain that Kefla is still really, really wonky to use, and I don't like her, so I'm still going to hold her in A rank. Uh, Krill, and as time has gone on, I can say I've, I've lost a little bit of luster for the Krill Master, and I'm going to hold the Krill Master back into B. Um, Mira. I'm going to put Mira in A. I don't think Mira is comparable to these. These are just too good for me to, like put Mira in there with him. I, I had him in there before, but as time has gone on, like I said, I he's lost a little bit of his luster to me. Now, I played some PvP against a friend with Final Four Mira. This man is dominant. The fact that this dude is not playable is a shame. Like, I was I was destroying him with Final Four Mira. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in A, but I was demolishing him with Mira. I also really love the way the form looks, just really cool. Uh, Nappa. Eh, what do you mean to say it's Nappa? Ribrian. Mm, as much as I hate it. <sighs> Ribrian is probably an S rank character. Uh, solid enough combos, solid enough supers. And she's got that super soul that makes it where you can't really use ultimates on her. Because she just reduces the damage of them so much. Uh, so she's definitely really solid. I know it's Ribrian. No one wants to say she's good, but it's Ribrian, okay? She's good in the game. Uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, just great supers. Uh, great supers, great combos. God Vegeta, just as good as Evolution Blue Vegeta, I would say. I don't think one's really better than the other. I think they're both both really good. It's just evolution 
Vegeta. Evolution Blue Vegeta takes all your health away in one super. God Vegeta does in one combo. Pick your poison. Uh, Nail is still trash, but... He has Mystic Flash. Eh, is do or die. I, mean, I can put him in B rank just because he can survive for a while. Uh, Pan is an A rank character. Not really much to say there. Piccolo is still an S rank character, I would say. I would say he's maybe on the lower end of it, but I would definitely still hold him into S rank. Uh, Ranger 17. I was really harsh on Ranger 17, and I've, I picked him up. I began to main him. And I'm going to put him into A. I don't think he's comparable to these up here. Uh, like, yeah, you, you see this, Daniel? That's, that's the guy who mains first form freeze. I just dropped his name. I said first form freeze is better than 17, but I'll, I'll beat your freeze with my 17 eventually. It'll happen. Uh, Raditz. Raditz is crazy. This is such a slept on character in Xenoverse. I put him in Z rank for the memes, but honestly, he he's not he's not a Z rank character. I'm gonna hold him into into uh, S. Raccoon. Eh. What do you mean to say? Just. What do you mean to say? Uh, B rank. This guy, one one good combo, dude. Just one. Literally just one good combo. <laughs> Uh, Super 17, this is another main. I, I was harsh on him before, but I'm going to put him into uh, A rank. They buff Thunder Racer, where it actually does, like, if you use it in the middle of a combo instead of raw, it does good damage. So, yep, yeah, Super 17 caught a good buff. Uh, as for Baby, <sighs> I would say... Baby's probably on the, at the bottom of S rank. Uh, I think he's so, he's really good, but he's he's definitely he ain't that good. Uh, of course, Omega Shenron. Eh. I'm gonna leave Omega in B rank, and I'm gonna put Timebreaker Omega in C rank. Um, I Shenron is probably S rank. Just because of his moves. Uh, Nova is a little just a balanced Ice Shenron, and as such, he goes into B rank. Um, let's see here. How much time is left on this video? Plenty. Uh, Lord Slug. I've, I've tried picking him up, dude. Me and the aforementioned person who plays first form Frieza. <laughs> you shall not be named. Uh, you know, I named him. We've tried using Slug, and we've made some headway, but he's still, I would say, I would still probably call Slug the worst cast character in the game. Not counting like these, of course. Uh, Hercule, Hercule is wild, dude. I'm putting him in A tier. Hercule is wild. The custom one with uh, the Miracle Neil, and I'm sorry, Super Soul. Basically, just, if they ever vanish you and you can't get a back hit, just do Rolling Hercule Punch and start another combo. <laughs> And then just when their stamina gets low, just bait a perfect block. And just dynamite kick. It's just Hercules wild, dude. I know it's crazy to put him in here. But he's crazy. Uh Turles is probably in here. I really like using Turles. I use him a lot. But I can't say Turles is like as good as Kid Boo. No way. Blue Gogeta. Now I think I put him in in Z before. The custom one obviously is, but as for the main one, I'm gonna hold Blue Gogeta back into S. Uh, he's got a stamina break that's really hard to hit. I was harsh on DBS Broly. I held him back into A, but I mean, it's undeniable he's an S rank character. I just don't like him, so I held him into A, but it's undeniable at this point. If I move past my bias, he's undeniably an S rank character. Uh, Toa, she's got good combos, it's just she has no supers, and no damage, that's the problem with Toa, she just doesn't do any damage, but I'm gonna hold her into me. 
what is Vado? Okay, Vado says in this list. I was wondering where she was. Tapion. Ah, uh, I, I, I main him. I hate that I main him. Because he's so bad. He's so bad. Like, he's really, really bad. But I main him, so it, it, it hurts. <laughs> uh, Tapion. Jesus Christ, Tapion. Wait, where's the, I just thought, do I have Deborah in A? Deborah, get down here and be right. What are you doing up there? I'm an idiot. Go and be right. Uh, yeah. Tapion is just, he's, he's bad, dude. Tapion's just really bad. Um, Future Trunks. I think that every variation except for Green Sweater Trunks is an A tier. Green Sweater Trunks is definitely an S tier because I think he has, like, the best uh, moveset. Kid Trunks, really solid A tier character. Good combos. The first variation is definitely the best one. I don't care what anybody says. The yellow jacket trunks has nothing on the green one, on the first one. Uh, but the middle one sucks. And this one, I think this one is actually an S rank. Because he has more variation than the others. So I am going to put him right there. Uh, Ten Shenhan. Yeah, I, I can put him in A rank. I think Ten Shenhan's really good. He's got Dry Beam. Actually, wait, he has Dry Beam. Uh, S rank. Uh, Videl, I mean, I got a comment saying how good Videl was, and I agree with the guy. Uh, Videl was absolutely wild, and I, I definitely got to put her up top, dude. Videl is, Videl is busted. Um, Grace Saiyan 2 is just a nerfed Videl. I would put her in S rank. Uh, Vados is... A or S. I'm going to put her in S rank. <clears throat> just because I think she is really good, but she's not as good as her brother, who, well, we'll get to him soon. What's this? We are, we're running out of time here. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Definitely the worst Vegeta in the game. I'm going to put him in I'm gonna put him in B rank. I just don't like that. Just don't like him. This Vegeta, A rank. Uh, Vegeta Blue, definitely S rank, for sure. Um, I mean C rank. I'm at <coughs> this Vegeta. Now I had him in S before, and over time I can say I have soured on this man hard. He's either at the bottom of S or maybe towards the top of A, but I'm going to hold him at the top of A for now because I just, mm, it's tough. I'll hold him at the bottom of S, but I've definitely soured on base Vegeta. Uh, Whis is one of the most dominant characters in the game. So, let me just do this, and there we go. Uh, Yamcha, I think Yamcha's... <laughs> Ten Shinhan's the best Earthling because he has Dry Beam. But not counting that, I think Yamcha's the best Earthling. Uh, this one's not bad either. Zarbon, Zarbon has the best mix-up attack in the game, Gorgeous Shot, so I'm going to put him in A rank, plus he's got good combos. Uh, half corrupted Zamasu. I've done PvP with this guy against a friend. Uh, he's A rank. I think he's Demigra is probably A rank too. Now I think about it. All the raid bosses are just solid A rank characters in PvP. Uh, I think I think Mira is probably the best of them though. So now merge Zamasu. Uh. I think I put him in Z before because of Evangelicals, but over time, I, th I think the Evangelicals aren't really good enough to put him in there, so I'm going to hold him in S. And then I'm going to put base Zamasu in S2. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, this is what I think of these. Now I have a few characters on the side here I'm going to read off. But this is what I think of the game. They are not ranked within the tiers, by the way. They're just in a random order. I just think every character in each tier is 
comparable to everyone else in that tier. But I think Cooler is by far the best in this tier. Yep. This is my whole tier list. I still think Slug is the worst cast character. I think Cooler is the best. So, with all that out of the way, let me read off some side things here. So, Android 21 and Maju. I think they're both solid S tier characters. Uh, I think that they're definitely... I think 21 is definitely better than Oob, I would say. But Oob is definitely really solid. But I don't know. If 21 could use Appetizing Rush easier without having to wait so long after any kind of a combo, she would be better. But i definitely hold them both in S rank. Um, Supreme Kai of Time, I hold into A rank just because... Needing to use whole inscription to make it to make yourself good is a pretty big weakness, and I'm definitely going to hold her back for that. I don't think that she's as good as these. Uh, definitely an A rank character, and I know it's a little weird to have her kill that high up, but trust me. Uh, man, all the Rose A mains are gonna be really upset at me. <laughs> uh, so next is Pycon. I put Pycon up into Z. Uh, I think Pycon, his combos are too strong. His supers are too good with them. He can follow up after a grab just like Blue Gogeta can. Where is he? Like this guy. Uh, Pycon's really good. His, the only thing I don't like is that his combos are so fast that I miss his stamina break a lot. Uh, but he's, he's really good. I would like... For some reason, Pycon and Hit are always who I compare to each other in this game. Uh... God Topo, I put an S rank. I don't think he's quite a Z rank character. I don't, you can make the argument because of Akai. He could honestly go in either lower Z or one of the best in S, but I, I definitely do think that Topo is probably just an S rank character. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. So now for the CAC races. Male Earthlings, obviously a Z rank, right? Uh, just great neutral, great combos, really strong, just, they're, they're male earthlings, dude, what do you want me to say, uh, the male earthlings are absolutely wild, female earthlings, S rank, uh, I think they're really good, I don't think they're as good as the, uh, as the males, obviously, but I think that the female earthlings are still really broken, like, they've got great combos, great neutral, uh, you can get some wild builds with it, really solid. Um, next is Namekians. I put Namekians up into Z rank. Uh, same with the male Earthlings. They're just that good. They, they've got a lot of iframes. They've got a lot of range. Uh, they do a lot of damage on basic attacks. Like, I have a full basic attack Namekian build, and he just he does so much damage. Uh, Namekians are absolutely crazy. Male Majins. I put into S because... Because they, uh, they get to where like, they just don't take damage. Oh, I'm dropping my phone. They get where they just don't take damage if you have a lot of stamina. And I think that carries over into pure form. Their combos aren't bad either. But I would say they're the second worst CAC race. But they're still like, I would say towards the bottom of this. But their male Majins are really solid, right? Uh, male Saiyans. Uh, Z rank. Do I need to say why? They're just obviously Z rank. The male Saiyan neutral is really good. They just... They, if you fought male earthlings, okay, so you know. Uh, female Saiyans, S rank, I think they're just as good as female earthlings. Uh, I think they're they're just they're just really solid, right? I think their combos aren't quite as good, but I think they're they're really good. Uh, female Majins, I put them up in the Z rank. Great combos, uh, a great passive ability with the stamina regen. Uh, it's a little broken. Uh, female Majins are definitely just really really solid. Absolutely zero, zero issues with the female Majin because they have pure form. I mean, pure form is insane. Uh, and I think, lastly, the worst race in the game is the Freezer race. I main a Freezer race. I know what I'm talking about here. The Freezer race is an A rank, maybe B. The Freezer race is, it's 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 sad how bad the Freezer race is. The only race that does not have a stamina break 
in their combo. You have to run a paralyzed key blast to get it. To get a stamina break. It is it is crazy. The hoops they make you jump through as a freeze race player. And then on top of that, golden form. I, I'm gonna hold him back into B rank. Because why not? Golden form just caught a big nerf to where your key blasts. Oh hey, the charge key blast that everyone was like, oh wow, this this is something that makes the freezer races usable. Nope, weak now. It's 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 really weak. Terribly weak. He does just as much damage as a paralyzed key blast. Just so bad. And then they made it where like Golden Form doesn't get key as fast anymore. Which was another one of the main things that was really good about Golden Form. It's just like they looked at the worst race in the game and they said, Yeah, we need to nerf this. This is too strong. Too many complaints about this. Because even back before these nerfs, the freeze race was still the worst race in the game, right? Because they they just their combos didn't have any kind of privilege to them at all. Like they were. Uh, I, I can't even. I would compare the freezer races to Goku Black, honestly, despite the fact that a freeze race is a B tier. I would probably compare them to Goku Black, just because. Um, because of like just how how much they've had taken from them, the freezer races are just oh they're bad dude they're bad. Like if someone was to ask me what race should they make their character, I would just tell them I would say listen, you can you can do what you want, but I implore you, don't make a freezer race. You will regret it if you make if you make your character a freezer race. Uh, I say this is a freezer race main since Xenoverse one, but uh yeah that's gonna do it. I don't know how long I'm going to wait to post this because Souls content is doing, well doing really well on my channel. So maybe when that starts to stagnate. But uh, yeah, this is my tier list. This is everything here. Scroll through. The Naruto music ended. And all that plus, like I said before, um, 21 Majub go into S. Supreme Cav Time goes into A. Pycon goes into Z. Topo goes into S. Male Earthlings, male Saiyans, Namekians, and female Majans all go into Z. Uh, female Earthlings, female Saiyans, and male Majans all go into S. And Frieza races go into B. Now, technically, all the, all the CAC races can technically be topped here because of whatever build you can make. But I say overall, they're definitely. The Frieza race is definitely just super low. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about this. If you think I'm wrong, you think I'm stupid, you think I I definitely missed the mark on some of these, let me know. And uh, yeah, I will see you in probably another Souls video eventually. Uh, Y'all take it easy.